chemical process oh, occurring mate. there. We've got our flask boiling away there. Look, early on, you can already see this white stuff coming off the, the wood. And Ben's going to see if he can light that. You've got a uh, the light. Well, you want a light if it works as well. It's whatever it is. Okay, so notice that this smoke is disappearing because it's not smoke, it's steam, it's water vapour. So now it's starting to change. So now initially it was coming out and vanishing, only water. Now some of it is going away as smoke. So at 100 degrees Celsius, we start to get the water vapour in the timber released. And the amount of water in the vapour, oh, that was quick. That was really quick. Because those wood chips are dry, if they're wet, sometimes this can take six or seven minutes. And because it's so dry, very quickly, we've got most of the water boiled off from the wood. And then we've just, there we go, we've got a flammable mixture. During World War II, when there was no fuel and diesel, they would run cars on this gas, uh, wood gas combustion. You could run a car engine. Not very well, <laughs> not good for your engine, but it'll run. And they used to, what they do, they would put it through a filter to get rid of the tar. You need to be careful, Mike, it's a wee bit hot. So, if you look carefully now, you can see flowing down that flask, is liquid, and some of that liquid is water, and some of it is actually tar, and that's got that brownish yellow colour there. So tar is not actually a gas, it's an aerosol. So a gas molecule is, is just one molecule of that substance. An aerosol is three or four clumped together to make a little liquid droplet. But it almost behaves like a gas. And because it's wood, wood has tar or liquid. And if you see this yellowish brown smoke coming out from a roof, that's the fire is telling me most likely it has timber rafters, timber construction. The timber is breaking down. So look at the tar formation there. So the thing about aerosols is that it's a little droplet of liquid that's floating through the air and when it hits a cool surface it, it condenses down because like, the liquid runs down the windows. So when I'm looking at a window and I see this brownish stuff running down the window, it's suggesting to me that there's timber, a fair component of timber burning inside that roof. If it's um, also, if it gets very black, it means the combustion process is poor. But remember, at the moment, we're just taking that solid fuel and converting <coughs> it to a gaseous fuel. We have to put energy in. If I take the Bunsen burner away, everything stops. It's not self-sustaining. That is self-sustaining. It's giving me back. I gave a little bit of energy, and now it's giving me a lot back. I'm giving us tons of energy, it's giving me nothing back yet. <laughs> Until I ignite that smoke. What do you reckon would happen? Imagine if we had a demonstration that Lars did. He had that hot plate, and on top he had the little cubes of uh, foam rubber, uh, little, little cubes of wood, and little cubes of uh, plastic. What if we went outside and got a, a tractor tire? We cut up a piece of you know, tractor tire and we heated it up and decomposed it. What colour would the smoke be? Black? White? White. It's unbelievable, isn't it? 
It's unbelievable. I find it fascinating. I teach this for 20 years and everyone, I will say black. I guarantee you it's white because that chemical process is maybe, I don't know, rubber, maybe 300 degrees Celsius. It's chemically breaking down the bonds and the volatiles, the volatile organic compounds are being released. The carbon is not volatile. Carbon is not volatile. It can't be converted to a liquid. So it sits left behind. All I'm doing is getting into the volatiles. Oh yeah, what has got um, this stuff to do? See the, the incense. So incense is a problem. It's normal. So this is combustion. It's, it's releasing the energy. We gave it a little bit of energy, and now it's giving energy, lots of energy back to us. But it's a slow surface of the process. Not cleaning the boat. So I need 16, 17 percent at least for this process. This process will continue. How much? Maybe five, six, seven, eight percent. That process zero. Absolutely zero required. Low temperature reaction. As low as 150 of some of our plastics, up to 300 of wood. This one. On the upper end, 4 or 500 degrees Celsius, it's a relatively high temperature reaction, but it's relatively slow. And the 